Hey guys, welcome. My name is Kevin Breen. I'm part of the Fish from Scratch podcast and Outdoor Adventures team. Um, I don't, it's like not focusing anywhere, but you can take a look at that. Um, here to talk a little bit about night fishing, mousing, frogging, whatever you want to call it. A um, couple things that we uh, are going to touch on are things that we didn't uh, touch on in our podcast. So, um, Couple main things. All right, so rods. We're talking about six weight or seven weight rods. Uh, this one specifically Echo Ion. Uh, I also use the Orvis Recon as another um, go-to rod, but six weights and um, six weight lines, six weight rod, all floating lines. Um, and occasionally, actually I kind of like this, uh, going up to a seven weight line because it allows my casts uh, a little bit more comfort with shorter casts on a six weight uh, rod. So it loads the rod a little bit better and um, turns the fly over a little bit better as well. A couple things that you should have when you're out there. Headlamp, little emergency light. This light is gonna go on the end of your walk wade trip. So you're gonna go ahead and put that down at the end of your walk wade, um, turn it on, and hopefully it'll still be on there in the end and an emergency flashlight just in case your headlamp dies and you need to find your way out of the woods. It does, it's not crazy for you uh, to end up having to, um, you know, basically find your way out of the woods after a long night and sometimes you don't find your way out of the woods that quickly. So that's kind of important to know. I like a bandana. This bandana I spray down with bug spray, put it around my neck, keeps the mosquitoes off. Um, also spray down the hat, boom. And um, that kind of takes care of mosquitoes too. I've got the emergency um, flagging. Also put that at the end of my float, uh, maybe like two feet of it, just hanging from a tree that ha overhangs the river. No, no guarantee that I'm gonna see it, but it does help. Um, flies, uh, we've got some different types of flies. A lot of them are, it is called mousing. Um, a lot of them are mice, but you could easily go with some kind of frog pattern as well, this one right here and this one right here are Houghton Lake Specials, two different variations. Um, both ride near or at the surface. Pretty much all my flies are gonna ride at or near the surface. Um, so that's the Houghton Lake Specials. Uh, this one's in white. Um, sometimes I like that because it's a little bit more visible at night. Um, I've got a lot of different mouse patterns. I like them with a little bit of foam on top when I can. This hook rides up, which is kind of nice, so I can ride it up over some of the logs and stuff in the river. A um, couple other patterns here and here, a little bit more articulated, big bullet um, style uh, deer hair head. So um, as far as fishing styles go, a lot of times I do a downstream uh, 45 degree cast, let it swing downstream from you, let it sit there for two, three seconds, and then I pick up and cast again. Um, it's a methodical kind of type of fishing where you're just kind of moving uh, section by section down the river, take you know five steps or so, make another cast, and just kind of work your way down the river. Um, let's see. Uh, I always suggest uh, getting there a little bit before dark, even if you can, like if you can, maybe fish that section during the day. Typically the fish that you're fishing for during the day are di totally different fish than what you're going to fish at night. Um, those bigger bruisers come out at night. And it, excuse me, I feel like I'm going to sneeze here, but um, let's go ahead and move on. So um, check that area out during the day and then fish it at night. Um, typically my fishing starts at 10, but I'll usually get out there a little bit before dark. Um, this is a technique that works pretty much across the country. I've used it out west in Colorado, uh, Montana, but uh, my home state is here in Michigan. So um, anywhere from any of the smallmouth rivers downstate all the way to um, the boardman up, you know, at the uh, higher end of the UP or the lower peninsula, not the UP. Um, but... Uh, 
yeah, so, and there's no reason why it wouldn't work in the UP too. Uh, full coverage outfits, that kind of stuff, that's all good for you, but feel free to ask any questions, check out our podcast, we'll kind of go into a little bit greater detail in the future, um, but that's pretty much it for me, you guys. Peace out, check us out, uh, fish um, from scratch, and oh, fly guide MI. Um, on Instagram too. So check out some of my photographs and some of the information I'm putting up there. I'll see you guys later.